Hello guys, welcome to Start Pro Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about a frame, multi storied frame, subjected to UDL as shown in figure. So, initially, start Start Pro, new project, plane, give some kind of name, meter, kilo, newton, next, add beam, finish. So change it to change its view. Now in order to get this structure we have a simple method. Go to geometry, select run structural wizard, select in model type frame models, select bay frame, double click, give length given as per figure which is three four in the sense seven twelve meters which is twelve meters and number of base along length are three and distance is one is three one is four one is five okay and the height is each five stories and each of three meters length so 15 meters and 5 stories each of 3 meters length width 0 number of base 0 apply so this is our frame structure 5 storied frame structure in order to transfer this structure to the start pro screen we select the icon available here transfer model would you like to transfer or merge yes press ok so the model gets transferred switch off the grid now as shown in figure the supports are fixed supports before that sizes are 230 by 350 so go to general property define size rectangle point three five by point two three add close select the entire structure assign to the whole structure yes support create fixed support select the support and select the end the nodes assign to this nodes assign coming to loads select load case details add primary load case one add close select load case one add as you can see the figure that there is only one type of load uniform distributed load minus 50 kN per meter so member load minus 50 add close select the load and select all the beams parallel to x direction in simpler way you can go to the select option menu bar and select beams parallel to x now you can assign the load to the selected beams scale the load the load gets assigned now you need to run the analysis add close analyze run analysis save the analysis goes on running and here you come up with results you can check it in post processing the deflection as you see it bending moment shear force axial force values can be obtained by going to results view value beam results maximum resultant and not maximum resultant you can see the maximum values you can use the magnifier to look at the value 
if it is not clear then you can press escape you can obtain the reactions by selecting the reaction tab at the end Fine. okay this is the end of the tutorial thank you